Okay. Um, let me think. Exam revision. Yes. Uh, you don't have a timetable, do you? That I don't have. You don't know what room you're in. No, it's been changed now. Well, it's not going to be true on one because I think the rain students are in there. So it could be. Can I, I might have to go across to 8401. You leave them back on my desk then? I'm back here. Oh, okay, alright. Can I go to buy then? <laughs> and then. Everyone, come on. Can for him? May I mark with my key? I need something else to put under the projector. The cable, perhaps. Ah. Uh, no, no, I think this will do. I can get it. Open up a mood one and have a look at an exam. <laughs> so, if you can open Moodle, we um, Musharif wants to stick with the schedule, so we have maths now, so we'll do a maths exam then. You got Moodle? I think there's an exam at the bottom called Exemplar, Semester 2 exam. That's what we'll start with for our revision. Good I just said you were going to 8401. Ah, uh, they're down there. I think I have the exam here. Did you find the exemplar? Yeah. Okay, if you can open that. Open it too. Do you have it? DIFC Dublin dot IE slash No, that's not it. DIFC move. What's the address? DIFC Moodle? Yeah, that I. Well, we might as well start. So, uh, your choices are. I don't know what you would prefer. We can take turns doing each question, or you could try. I mean. Um, what's your preference? Do you want to try some and get the answers? Do you want to take turns? Which would you prefer? Don't you don't mind? So then Musharif, it's up to you. What would you prefer? Turns? Great, okay. So what is A1 about then? Is it product? Simultaneous? Ah, that's for babies. Okay, we'll start with that one then, simultaneous. Uh, that should not take you long to do. So how many marks? 
Nice. Okay. Um, four minutes maximum, but I would hope you can do it in less than this. Finish me, Shuri? Super. Sure. Sure. Well, I can do the answer now if you want. Yeah? Or no? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I should do is multiply this by 3. So then I get 9c minus 6d equals 30. 5c plus 6d equals 12. Add together, I get 14C equals 42. So C is 42 over 14, which is 21 over 7, which is 3. So C is 3. And then I can put that back in, say, here. And I get 5 times 3 is 15, plus 6D equals 12. So 6d equals minus 3, yeah? So then d equals minus a half. So I should be getting 4 out of 4 for this one. Yes? It's okay? Yeah. Now let's see what we have in number 2. Okay, probability question. Um, how many marks? Um, but what's different is well not much different is you're taking out three suites whereas I think in the exam you had last time it was only two not that it matters okay uh, so again three minutes should take you for this
cold? No, the instruments are attached. Oh yeah. Super. Let's have a look. A2 now. Um, 12 red and 8 blue. And 8 blue. And what are we doing? Uh, Final five of the all three suites are blue. Okay, so we start here and we can either have red or blue red or blue red or blue and then last one red blue red blue red blue red blue but actually I don't care about all of these there's only a particular one which I care about uh, blue blue and blue so that's this one this one and this one so at the beginning you have 20 and 8 of them are blue one later you have 19 and 7 are blue and finally there's 18 and 6 are blue so the probability of 3 blue when you multiply it out okay I'll just write this down for Iyad and Amir 14 over 285 8, 8, uh, Make sure it doesn't say anything about percentage or anything here. No. That's okay. Uh, so that, again, that should be 303. Not so bad, this one. Okay. A3 now. Uh, a long division. And this one is 3 marks. Okay, let's see. Finish? One more minute then.
So what's first? x squared, yeah. And you have x cubed minus x squared. And then when you subtract, you're left with x squared minus 1. Or minus 1 plus x squared, whichever you prefer. So the next one must be x, and that's x uh, yeah. squared minus x. Yeah, so again, you subtract, you're left with x minus 1. So then finally, it must be 1. And uh, what is this tree mark again, as they say? Tree mark, yeah. This should be tree over tree. Uh, okay. Now, this we have not done for a long time. Aromatic progression. So this is find U95 and S70. You may have to look at the formula book on Moodle if you forgot the formula. Did you forget or remember? How many marks? Five. How are we doing on this one?
You're finished, Mr. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're too. Okay, so uh, you figured A is 100 and D is minus A. So the formula here is A plus N minus 1 D. So did you get minus 652? And then this one is N over 2. 2a plus n minus 1 d and the minus instead of the plus because it's minus 8 so five three two oh no n over 2 2 a Yeah. Minus one two three two oh. And five marks. Yes. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. Five now is something that we would have done in maths and physics. We have the P and we want the T. But please note, it says clearly you got one extra mark for the use of significant figures, which in this case the answer must be three. Three significant figures for the answer. Uh, significant figures are the ones on the right. Yeah. That's decimals are the ones on the right. So significant okay. figures are all of the digits, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have one three five equals forty e zero point zero six t. So if I divide by forty, I get this. If I put log on both sides, I get this. And if I divide by zero point zero six, 
I finally have my t. So log 135 over 40 divided by 0 0.06. Three significant figures, that's 20.3. Yeah. Oh, you must for one extra mark. What did you say? Oh no, no, no! It must be twenty point three. So that would be. Okay, that's five. Six now. Um, here we go. Trigonometry equation. Not too difficult. Um, there's just a square. So we just need a square root. And tan inverse as well. Okay, so uh, see what you get for this one. This one is three marks only. Finished or trouble? Trouble. How's it going, Mr. I have only one. Yes. So first we take square root and we get tan theta equals plus or minus root 3. So we have two halves to this problem. Either tan theta is 3 or tan theta is minus root 3. Uh, in radian mode, tan inverse root 3 and that's pi over 3 so here we get theta is pi over 3 and the second answer here I'm pretty sure will be minus pi over 3 the way you make the second answer for tan is you add 180 degrees so the second answer here will be plus pi onto this so that's 4 over 3 pi and then this next answer here will be plus pi onto this, so that would be 2 pi over 3. So we have four answers here. Oh, and this answer we need to fix it, and the way we fix it is by adding 2 pi. Uh, so that would become, uh, what's that now, Six, 5 over 3 pi. So our answers are pi over 3, uh, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. So you can check these answers. If you do tan the first answer, which is pi over 3, and you square it, I should get 3 here because of the formula. I do get 3. Let's try the next answer. Still get 3. Next answer. Still get 3. Next answer, still get 3. 
So we would know in the exam that these are definitely the right answers. And this question is only three marks actually. It's kind of a not too too many. Did you get those four? Two. Two of them. Okay. The minus. No, I got the button. You got this answer. This answer. Yeah. This answer. Ah, this answer. Okay. So seven now. Completing the square. and sketch. So in this quadratic it has a minimum. The shape is like this. The minimum. Right, so completing the square, this would be x minus 6 squared, and then 33 minus 36 is minus 3. So, they wanted a quick sketch here. Um, it crosses the y-axis at 33, from looking at this, and the turning point is at 6 minus 3. So, if I just mark off minus 3 here, I can just put 6 anywhere, so I'll just put it here. Um, so this here is my uh, 6 minus 3, and this is the turning point. And this point here is 0, 33, and this is where it crosses the y-axis. So I need to draw a quadratic that has a minimum here and passes here. So, oh my goodness. So you're looking at something like this. Oh, they call it stationary point. Same thing though.
Did you get that point? Hmm? Did you get this point yeah. here? Yeah. Did you draw? No, didn't do it. No. Okay. Uh, next one. And what's nice about the next one is they tell you the substitution to use. There's no value for log zero. It doesn't have a value. I know the mistake you're making though. You forgot to change it back to X. You have log U, yes? Yeah. But these are values for X. Look. These are values for X. Okay, so if u equals 8 plus x4, then that means du dx equals 4 of x cubed. So that means dx equals du over 4 x cubed. If I put that back in here, this becomes 0, 1, 8 x cubed over u, so I can put that in as well, times du over 4 x cubed. Cancel, 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 cancel to make it 2. So this becomes 2 integrate 1 over u du, which equals 2 log u, 0, 1 for x, which equals 2 log 8 plus x4, 0, 1, which equals 2 log 9, when you put in 1, and when you put in 0, log 8 which is 2 log 9 over 8. Now how do they want the answer? They don't say. So I could leave the answer like this and I won't go 236. This is it here. Okay, do you need to write this down? Adam? No? Okay. Right. Nine now. Unit vector. The 
Correct. Great. A equals six minus two three. The magnitude of A equals square root thirty six plus four plus nine. What's that for? Uh, seven. Yeah. So then the unit vector is six over seven minus 2 over 7 and 3 over 7. How many marks was that? 3. Ok, 10 now. It's a uh, sketch this and then solve this. Yep. You didn't get any message from Iyad or Mir, did you? WhatsApp or anything? How are we doing? Will I do it? Yes!
Try now. So I can write this as 2 absolute x minus 2. Or if you prefer, that's 2 absolute x minus 2 plus 0. So when you write it like this, a x minus b plus c, this is where it crosses, uh, sorry, this is, it's a bit like completing the square, b c is where it, uh, no, but you didn't say that, the only one that squares crosses the x and y. No vertex? Yeah, if you want the vertex, you will take. Correct, you're right, they don't care for that, so, I'll just do where it crosses the x and the y then. Um, so, if we make x equals 0, y would equal 4. And then, if we make y equals 0, that means x absolute, uh, absolute x minus 2 times 2 should equal 0. So that means x needs to be 2. So, this here is 2. It only crosses once. So here's our graph. And then finally they want you to solve this uh, equal to 8. Yes? So that means absolute x minus 2 must equal 4. We can get rid of the absolute by squaring x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 16 x squared minus 4x uh, minus 12 equals 0 uh, 6 and 2 so x equals minus 2 or x equals 6 did you get those answers? very good Okay. Next one's easy uh, derivative here. I'll put it up. Y equals sine three x squared plus five x minus one. Finished? Yeah, chain rule. <laughs> dy dx equals cos 3x squared plus 5x minus 1 times <coughs> 6x plus 5. Yep. Yeah. And finally, I think for section A, Yeah. Yeah. So the six rounds is the mean? The six hundred is the mean, yeah.
It's in the formula book, it's on the last page. Okay, so you figured that you have the Z transform, yeah? So this will be zero, then 630 minus 600 over 20 is uh, 0 0.5? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. No, 1.5. 1.5. And then, yeah, 3 over 2, 1.5. So here is 1.5, and here is minus 1.5. So you want this area? Is it? Oh no, you want this area. So that would equal 1.5 minus minus 1.5, uh, which equals 1.5 minus 1 minus 1.5, which equals twice. 1.5 minus 1. Do you have the table book, Ms. Sharif? Yeah. What is 1.5's value? time for our break because um, we just finished question 12 there in section A so we can take a coffee break and then we can start section B then yes